tutorial series. In the last lecture, we have discussed about array indexing or indexing of an array. In today's tutorial, we will be discussing about array slicing. So, the first point is what is array slicing? Array slicing is an operation that extracts a subset from an array and creates a new array from that original array. Like uh, in simple words, uh, like we are extracting a subpart or a subset. Uh, of an array this is known as array slicing so we will start our lecture by importing numpy as np then creating some random arrays by using numpy random function that we have discussed previously in this series We are using seed function so as uh, whenever this piece of code is run the same random numbers are generated each time. So I am creating a one dimensional and a second dimensional array. I am giving the size of this array to be 10. I am giving the size of this multidimensional array to be 4,4. So we have defined our single dimensional and a multidimensional array. So how we can perform array slicing or slicing of an array using NumPy. So how we can perform slicing an array or array slicing. So just as we use square bracket to access individual elements, we can also use them to access sub arrays with a, with a slice notation marked by colon so for slicing array or array slicing we are using square bracket with colon as we will look the numpy slicing syntax follow the standard python list to access the slice of an array like it takes three parameter in the square bracket a start a start point a stop point and number of step that it will take for example if i am taking uh, the example of one dimensional array it takes three parameter like the starting point uh, separated by colon then the stop point separated by colon then the number of step it will take let's take the example of x1 so first of all we will have a look on this array so now if i want to access or if i want to make another array containing just five elements of this array from starting then i can do it using the square brackets all three values are separated by colon so if i want to access the first five element then i will mention the starting point to be zero colon five and number of step is one so it will return me a array containing the first five element of the original array with the interval of one if any of these are unspecified uh, the default value of the start stop and step will be considered like the default value of a start is zero the default value of a stop is size of the dimension and the default value of a step is one now we will try different ways of slicing the array like if i am not mentioning the start point and if i want to access the first four elements then here i have only specified the end point or the stop point here i have not specified the start point or the number of step so it has taken those value by default the next we can see is specifying the start point and the stop stop point like if i want to access the value of x1 from 4 to 9 then it will return me the array containing values from index 4 to 9 remember in these slicing the last point or the stop point is not included 
it is excluded like a 4 to 9 so it will return me an array containing value of index 4 5 6 7 8 now let's do some manipulation with steps so if I am taking a step to be I am not here defining the endpoint and I am giving a step to be 4 so it will return me an array with endeavor 4 from starting to end now one thing to note here is if you set a step value to be negative in this case the default of start and stop are swapped this become a convenient way to reverse an array like here I am not mentioning the start and the stop point but I am giving a step a negative value like 4 so it will return me an array in reverse order separated by an interval of 4 so normally if we want to reverse an array we can use minus 1 so it will return a reverse order of the original array we can check it here this was the original array and it was the reverse of that array uh, so it is a convenient and easy way to re reverse a array using negative value for steps now we will talk about multidimensional slicing multidimensional slicing work in the same way with multiple slices separated by comma like like x2 first we will have a look at uh, this so x2 now it is 4 comma 4 matrix so if you want to slice this matrix so you have to provide the value of row and column or the slices of row and column separated by comma like x2 if i want to access the first two rows with an interval of 1 then for a value of columns we will use a comma and now we will give the value for columns so it will return a matrix 2 comma 2 starting from 0 index of row and column to the first index of row and column separated by the step of 1 as we have discussed previously that you can exclude any of these parameter or any of the value of a start stop and a step it will take the value by default so if we will check an example like i want to extract a 3 cross 3 matrix from this original matrix but i am not mentioning the start point and neither i am mentioning the steps so it will return me an array of 3 cross 3 now if you want to access single row or column of an array you can do it by combining index and slicing using an empty slice marked by a single colon now if i want to access the single row or column of this array or matrix i can do it by combining indexing and slicing using an empty slice mark so it will return me the array containing the values of first row in the same way you can also access a single or a particular column like if i want to access the fourth column so it will return me the array containing the value of fourth column in the case of row access the empty slices can be omitted like if i am only mentioning the row number or the row index then it will return me that row from that matrix so in case of row you can exclude these or you can omit these empty slices now one important and extremely useful thing to know about array slicing is that they return view rather than the copy of array data this is one area numpy array differs from python list list slicing will be copy consider an example like if i am slicing a part from this matrix and storing it in another variable x3 x3 will contain a matrix 2 comma 2 from the original matrix x2 now if we will do certain manipulation like i am changing the value of 0 comma 0 to from 7 to 78 then it will also show changes in the original matrix so x2 has also changed its value from 7 to 78 so this is the case with numpy array slicing that it returns a view not a copy of original array so it is sometimes useful 
It means when we are working with large data set, we can access and process piece of these data set without need to worry about copy of the original data underlying the data buffers. So if you want to copy the data with an array or sub array, you can do it by using copy method. Like if you don't want to create a view, but rather create a copy of the original array so that whatever manipulation you are doing in the copy of that array are not shown in the original array. So you can use the copy method like I'm creating another matrix from the same X2. Now this time I am taking the three cross three matrix from the original and calling the copy method. So it will return a copy of the original matrix rather than creating a view of that matrix. So X4 will be a 3 comma 3 matrix. Now if we are performing any type of manipulation like I am again changing uh, like I am changing the last value 2 comma 2 to be 100 from 5 to 100. So if we will see the change has been made to the copy of the original array. Let's see whether the change has been made to original array also. The original array is unchanged. The 5 value is present as it is. It has been not changed with the value 100. So if you want to create a copy of the original matrix, you can matrix or array, you can call a copy method and uh, in general or by default it returns a view. So this is all for this video for slicing an array. In the next video, we will cover reshaping of an array. So stay tuned. Thank you.